Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. The other day I did an install video of Arch Linux with my revised post install script. And I installed three desktop environments, two window managers, and three login managers or three display managers. And in that video, I showed how to switch between different display managers or login managers. And what I showed works, but I kind of left out a step. So if you do it the way I showed you in that video, it's not going to hurt it. No damage will be done, no harm, no foul, it works. But there's a more proper way to do it. And I knew about it at the time, but when I make these videos, I'm, I don't use a script. I don't write down beforehand what I'm going to say or what I'm going to do. I just have a general idea of what I'm going to do and I go ahead and do it. So when I was edi editing the video, I realized, hmm, I should have done it this way instead of that way. But the way I showed you still works, but I'm going to show you the more correct way. Okay, so let's get to it. So I'm in the uh, same virtual machine that I used to do my installation the other day. And I'm in the Cinnamon desktop. And I logged in with LightDM. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down to a TTY. And this is what I showed you before, but I'm going to do it again. And if this is a bare metal machine, you would do a control, hold down your control and your alt button at the same time and press F2 or F3 or F4, or F5 or F6. Now, usually you're logged in on F7. So probably you could do F2 to F6. So it's control, alt, F2, F3, F4, whatever. But because this is a virtual machine, it's not a bare metal computer. I'm going to go up here. And before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out. Let's log out. Let's log out of Cinnamon. So now we're at light DM. And like I said, you're going to do control alt F5, F4, F3, whatever. But I'm going to use my keyboard here because this is a virtual machine. And let's go to control alt five. And I'm going to put my username in I'm going to put my password in and I'm going to make this font larger here. Let's do set font here dash 132B. Uh, that's better. Let's clear the screen. So I are in a TTY and we're logged in as Mensch. So this part I forgot to do, even though I knew about it, I forgot to do it. But like I said, the way I showed you in my last install video, it works, but this way is better. And like I said, I know about it, but I forgot to do it. So we should really shut down light DM. And this is the step that I forgot. We're going to type in sudo system control dot light DM. And that's a step that I forgot to do. But like I said, the way I showed you will still work, but this is the more correct way to do it. Okay, so we're, we're shutting down light DM and I'm going to put my password in. Now, if I reboot, it's going to go back into light DM. So if you don't want it to go into light DM when you reboot, then you got to do it this way. You're going to do the same line, but we're going to disable it. Okay, now I showed you this disable part in that video, but I forgot to show you that you should stop it before you start another one. And even though it worked in the video, I forgot to show you the part about stopping it because you don't want to have any conflict, right? So like I said, stopping it just stops it until you reboot. If you don't want it to turn on when you reboot, then you have to do pseudo system disable light DM. So I'm not going to disable it. So light DM is stopped. Now light DM was on TTY7. So if you're in a bare metal computer, you're going to do control alt F7, but because it's a virtual machine, I'm going to do this and I'm going to go to control alt seven. And now you see it's dead. It's a blank screen. You can see blinking. You can see my cursor blinking at the top, in the top corner there, but it's a blank screen. And that's because we stopped light DM. Now if I reboot light DM is going to come up again because I didn't disable it. Now, if you do control, now when it's like this, you don't have to pull the plug out or shut down your computer. If I do, if this is a bare metal computer and you do control alt F5, because we were on F5, right? Well, you could go to any TTY actually, but we're already logged in. 
with our user on TTY5. So if you do control alt F5, you're going to get back there. But because of the virtual machine, I'm going to do it this way. Control alt five, it's going to take me back there. So now I'm going to start GDM, the login manager or the display manager that came with GNOME. So I'm going to do sudo system control start GDM. Now it started. So now we're in GDM, the display manager, the login manager that came with GNOME. And if we want to choose our different, uh, where we're going to log into, you can see here we have Cinnamon, Gnome, Plasma, Qtile, Awesome is at the top. Let's go back to Control Out 5. And there we are, we're back at Control Out 5. Well, let's say I want GDM to start on boot up. And I'm going to do, well, first of all, I'm going to have to uh, do this because I have like DM starting on startup. System Control disable light dm then i'm going to do sudo system control enable gdm so now if i reboot it's going to automatically go into gdm now let's say i want to start sddm the login manager that came with kde plasma so i'm going to do sudo system control and this is the part i forgot to stop it we do system control stop GDM and I'm do sudo system control start SDDM because that's the login manager that came with Plasma. And there we are, we're at that login manager. And we can log into whichever one we want. Now let's go back to TTY5 and let's say we want that to start when we reboot. Then I'm going to do sudo system control. Well, I want to just First of all, we have to disable GDM, disable GDM, and then we want to enable sudo system control, enable SDDM. So now by reboot, it's going to automatically go into SDDM, the login manager or the display manager. So the only real point of this whole video, and like I meant at 12 minutes already, I'm going to try to cut this down, was that the way I showed in the video was working, but you should, before you start another display manager, you should stop the one that's running because there could be some conflict. And that's it. In this video, I showed a more correct way to stop and start a display manager and how to set it up so that you log into it when you boot into the system. I hope you learned something today. And if you did, please like the video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mitch.